Cool Like That peeps, it is me, your Cool Like That Asian in the house. Yes it is, yes it is. Oh gosh, it is Sunday people. And I actually am uh, here, just wanted to do a video on this Sunday because it is my birthday weekend, so I wanna thank every single person out there who remember my birthday on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so it's my birthday weekend. So thank you guys so much for making me feel so special on this day. Uh, and Andre included, because Andre made me feel so special. Even though he's not here in Texas, he made me feel so special on this day. He kind of, uh, he got me edible arrangements. He remember, he sent me a card the day before. He also um, got me flowers. And then you're also on a camera that he bought me. It's a red Nikon camera. I think it's Nikon or Nikon. But he got me a, me a camera that I, I was looking at because it was red. And it's a, six, a 16 megapixel camera that I think Ashton Kutcher um, promotes on commercials and everything like that. So he got me this camera and I, I love it. I, hopefully it's a lot clearer than my JVC camera because my JVC camera kind of got a purple dot right in the middle and it, I don't know how that happened, but I have to get that repaired. But he got me this camera, so I'm very thankful. And pretty much I can take this with me where people think that I'm just taking pictures, but I can actually do a, a good video with it. So this is my first video. Andre kind of put a video on here to kind of uh, say happy birthday to me on this video, so I was kind of happy about that, and I was, I was just blown away. <laughs> so thank you, honey, uh, for this camera. I, I really love it, and now I can just do a, a quick video, and um, while I'm driving or whatever, I can put this video camera on. So, oh, this uh, camera on. But today is Sunday, and I actually want to kind of show you um, the one-year transformation. Uh, I know I did this before, probably. I'm not too sure. I can't remember my videos for the last couple of weeks. I can't remember. But October is my one-year transformation, um, and I kind of had to thank my trainer for kind of helping me and motivating me also. But I had different motivations, and I wanted to kind of show you guys the, mo uh, the my... Um, my transformation from last year, but I'm going to do a video of a montage of video, uh, pictures and um, hopefully some video clips in there so you guys can see how, how far I came from last year because last year is October, I, that's when I started to work out religiously and I got down 30, 27.5 pounds, I, I, I went down and I, I'm very happy about that. So three years ago, I when I moved here, 3.5 years ago, I moved to Texas, and that's when I started eating a lot. And that's when I, I became less active, and I started to gain a lot more weight. I, I actually gained 30 pounds when I moved, uh, when I, I gained 30 pounds last year, not 30 pounds, all last year, but over the last three years, I gained 30 pounds. And I was in fitting in clothes, I was a 34 inch waist, usually I'm a 31. and. I was just, my ass got fatter, okay, it became juicy, became juicy, and Andre was loving it, okay, but I wasn't feeling happy about myself, I wasn't feeling that I, I was happy, and I didn't feel as energetic as I am today. Now, Andre, Andre one of Andre's friends actually uh, made a comment to me, which hurt my feelings totally, and this became my motivating factor for this year, and I keep remembering going back to that motivating factor. It's well, Actually, it's one of my motivating factors because I took a picture last year in October of how I looked back then, and my stomach kind of protruded out, and I had my shirt off, and now it's like, I really don't have a stomach now. <laughs> so, well, last, last year I took that picture, and it was, I always look at that picture, and it, um, that was my motivating factor. But also, I remember a comment that was made to me when um, I was wearing this yellow American Eagle shirt. It's a fitted shirt, and I was wearing it, and it came up to here. And so, um, one of Andre's friends um, said, "Jason, you shouldn't be wearing that shirt." And I was like, I looked at her, and I was like, it hurt my feelings because it was a rude comment and everything. And I, I took me a couple days to kind of figure figure that out. I was like, well, damn. Excuse me, you know, but last year I had to think about it and I said, you know what, let's turn that, uh, that negative into a positive and get myself back to shape, get myself back into um, motivating myself to do a lot more for myself and that's when I realized that I needed to go back to the gym. I needed to start eating healthier and it took quite a while. I was like, why am I not losing a lot more weight than I should? I was just plateauing at one point, and I, was, I wasn't very happy about that. And I realized 
you know, I just need to start doing it. I need to start doing it. I need to work on that and be active. And from then on till now, it just became a motivating factor. And now, look at me today. Pretty much, I, I lost 27.5 pounds uh, of that weight that I gained. And I'm back to where I, I want to be. But this year, I, I, I became motivated to become a lot bigger and a lot more happy about myself. But I also committed to bulking up a little bit more. Right now, you don't see no uh, a big old muscular person. But you know what? I It takes progression and it takes pa um, patience to actually get to where you want to be. I realize that now I'm at a better place than I was three years ago. I'm a better place now than I was five years ago. So a lot of the motivating factor for me is to make sure that I'm, I'm always staying healthy and energetic and um, just happy with myself and overall life. And pretty much that kind of motivated me uh, last year. Now the, my motivation this year is to just bulk up and making sure that I, I want to get find that cuts. I want to get a little bigger. You know, I don't want to stay skinny, but I do want to do a skinny, lean, muscular build that um, I, I want to be at. So that's my motivating factor, and hopefully you guys can see a transformation next year in October because I, I'm just real excited to kind of uh, share these experiences with you guys. Um, if you guys are happy with yourselves, be happy with yourselves fully. But if you guys know that you guys have this, um, this factor, a factor of not being happy with yourself and you're getting sickly and all that stuff, but you're not doing anything about it, you know, that should be something, an indication to you. Take that negative energy and turn it into a positive word. You're going to start doing stuff for yourself because a lot of people tend to stay negative, but they don't turn that into a positive at, at any point. And that's the reason why some people are so sickly and it's just... It's crazy to me. Why would you want to stay in that negative, that negative atmosphere? You know what I mean? But just that one negative really kind of set the tone for me to get back into shape, get back to my, my first love. Not my first love, but my, my love and my passion. So really, you guys see the transformation today. And hopefully next year, you guys get to see another transformation um, for me because my goal for next year is to make sure that I'm actually getting ripped and I'm getting more cut where you can see more of the transformation next year. So I want to thank you guys so much for that support that you guys have been showing me over the year, but hopefully you guys get to see more and still stay supportive um, for me. So I love you guys. Thank you guys so much and I will catch you guys all sometime soon because I really want to use this camera. So I will catch you guys later.